U.S. Appeals Court throws out case attempting to block trans girls from school sports. A federal appeals court on Friday threw out a case brought by four cisgender high school girls in Connecticut who claimed the state's trans-inclusive sports policy violated their civil rights and deprived them of a chance to be champions. The lawsuit filed in 2020 had been seized on in, on in recent years by state lawmakers and governors pushing anti-trans sports bans, with Republicans citing the claims made by the plaintiffs as they sought to prohibit trans girls and women from competing on teams that match their gender identity. A federal district court judge dismissed the case in April 2021, saying the girl's request to block the policy was moot because the two transgender athletes mentioned in the suit graduated in 2020. And there was no indication that the plaintiffs would again compete against trans athletes in the state. In its Friday ruling, a three-judge panel of the Second Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed the lower court's decision, writing in a scathing 29-page ruling that the plaintiffs claimed that the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference's policy put them at a competitive disadvantage was unfounded. The Alliance Defending Freedom, the nonprofit that is representing the plaintiffs, said, quote, Our clients, like all female athletes, deserve access to fair competition. End quote. The plaintiffs are evaluating all legal options, including appeal. I'm so glad that this case got thrown out. You know, more, uh, we need to do more research, folks, okay? If you, you know, I am blessed that I get to be around LGBTQ plus kids all the time, right? And they are the most fluid individuals that you will ever meet. They really, they're like, hi, pronouns, blah, blah. And they, come, they keep on with their day. It's like not even a thing, you yeah. know? But if you learned about transitioning and if you knew what you put your body through, you would learn that if you're going, if you're going um, M to F, you are really not going to have that kind of strength as you would when you were a male. All right, do the science. We need folks to go get some grants, get some money together and do the science to show these people medically what happens when you transition. And then you could present that to people. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, don't, I know plenty of little athletes and none of them have issues going, uh, going up against a trans athlete in school. None of them. OK, no. the problem here is that Alliance Defending Freedom, that organization is a far right organization that like to make up cases. Yes. <laughs> like, no, I'm serious. They are current, currently there is a Supreme Court case yeah. that they just heard regarding a website builder who supposedly do not want to design websites for same sex couples. Mm -hmm. but. It was a it was a it was essentially a shell company. business. It was just created so that yes. they can sue. Mm -hmm. This is what their tactic is. They find some theoretical plaintiff and gather some volunteers and say that I theoretically will be forced to compete against trans athletes and therefore I want to declare that we want to ban trans athletes from competing. Yeah. This is it is a they're trying to find a solution before the problem even, even happens. And the percent of people that are trans and transitioning that it would upend sports in general is just, again, it's, so it's low, a problem low. that does not exist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It does not exist. It is for headlines and it's headline grabbing. And again, you know, it just, you know, keep bringing these things because it just makes these, these organizations look more and more out of the mainstream of most Americans. And gender mm -hmm. science is evolving. We have, uh, we have had cases where an actual female, non-trans female, cisgender female, was suspended from athletic competition because her t t testosterone count was high. <laughs> you know, that, I mean, how do you actually accurate? The problem here is that if you're going to segregate the sexes in terms of athletic performance, where's the gender line and how do you define them? Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. problem. That's one of the things that, you know, you think you brought up. It's that people are so quick to form a judgment themselves rather than, you know, looking into the experts that people that actually do and understand the science, Science, you know, <laughs> like I, I always do use the example, you know, there's a certain level of trust that I have when I get on an airplane that it's not going to fall out of the air. Mm -hmm. It's not my job to say, you know, to pass judgment on how it's engineered. Mm -hmm. You trust, you trust experts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.